you are invited to Moon's second birthday party with lots of DIY. We don't have much time to pull it together, but with a little love, sweat, and hair, <laughs> we are going to make this happen for our baby boy who is, oh my gosh, turning two, I can't believe it. Thankfully, our sponsor Shift is on the ride with us to help it all get done. So don your party hats or whatever you wanna wear and let's get ready to sing happy birthday to the moon man himself. Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're having a baby? <laughs> push, push. <laughs> Happy birthday, buddy. Whoa. Got his first leaf blower. Can you spray the camera? Yeah. Whoa! Hello! You're back on the couch. Back on the couch. Hello. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you're going in for the kiss already? Fresh lipstick and everything? That's wow. Right. Anyways, guys. Welcome to Moon's welcome. second birthday party. So this was like in high demand from you guys. I mentioned it in like two videos ago, like in passing, hey, would you guys wanna see that? And literally every other comment on that video was like, yes, we need to see Moon's birthday party. For his first birthday party, it was in the middle of the pandemic, so we didn't really have one. We had your parents over and we had a cake for him and that was, yeah, that but was it. Yeah, but it was at the time where we literally didn't know like how to have people over, so my oh, parents. Oh yeah, and everyone was masked. Everyone and, wore yeah. masks, we like took like, family photos with them like six feet distant. That was his first birthday party, so definitely wanted to have a different feeling for this. So if you guys have been uh, following us on Instagram, which if you don't, please do. We post a ton of stuff over there, but one of the things that we've always done is we've really celebrated all of Moon's in-between birthdays. Oh yeah, like his like month birthdays, yeah. which people who don't have kids or haven't been like around children that closely are like, why do you celebrate the months? Like he's a year and a half. He's not like 15 months or whatever. But when you are around children and you really watch them grow, the months mean so much because they are so different from like 12 months versus 16 or 18 months. I mean, the changes are exponential. So it's worth celebrating the month birthdays. sharing your children's birthday parties and all of that but you guys have been part of our journey you guys are our family you guys saw moon come into this world if you watched the birth vlog oh! <laughs> we are having like a private little like dinner celebration with him on his actual birthday. But then this is like the first like birthday party that we're throwing that you guys are gonna come along to. And he's gonna be so happy to have both sets of his grandparents there. That's a big thing about this party because all of his family's coming in. So my parents, Kate's parents, your sister, and then we're also having some friends over, which like is so 2021. We invited you guys. And a half. Drum roll please. We invited three kids over to our house. <laughs> Massive party! <laughs> pandemic baby, pandemic parents. Like, yeah. unfortunately. He didn't have a playgroup. Yeah. They're like the kids of our friends. One of them's our neighbor. Um, but thankfully, Moon is like super chill guy. He enjoys hanging out with all kinds of kids. So today, we are showing you how to make a last minute birthday party. Cute and fun <laughs> for a toddler because we planned this party two days before. 
Okay, so here's the plan. We want to have this party in our backyard and we want to use every inch of it. So if you remember, we have the side of our house, you walk down, we have this area in front of our garage, then we have the pergola area, and then we have the grass yard. So what I'm thinking we'll do is we'll create a magical entrance area along the walkway where we'll have the food carts and then we'll have balloons over the top of what will be a cozy indoor outdoor kind of feeling seating area for the adults you will round the corner to our pergola area where there will be a fully diy moon backdrop as well as a seating area for the kids and then the grass area will be for all of our cool fun interactive water play pumps this is melinda Ryder. she is responsible for my pink her Melinda mixes up those colors custom and they're all just like varying shades of pink because we don't just do one color. You gotta get the dimension. So we are so last minute. I actually had booked a hair appointment <laughs> for this week. While we simultaneously prepare this birthday party. Yeah, while we prepare and while I fill up balloons. All right, so projects. Okay, so projects, we wanna do the moon cutout. So like a bigger version of so like his photo wall backdrop. Moon. Yeah, photo backdrop and like probably like his name and balloons above or something. So making two columns, everything we're doing at the party and then everything that we actually need to order, which we're gonna use shipped because shipped is like a reliable like same day delivery and this is important that we get like a shipped shopper because their shoppers actually communicate with you and really care to get like exactly what you need, so. Yeah, like you can message back and forth with your, with your shopper and they are your personal shopper. Like it's an extension of you in the store. And this is so important for me because I'm super specific about the colors of balloons that I want to get. <laughs> so I am going to be communicating with our ship shopper about balloon colors. What are we thinking about furniture? We should just rent some <laughs> furniture from our office and bring like the test sofa in green, I think. So like, so like the you're chairs. indoor like, furniture outside? Yeah, because that always looks so fun. Like when you come to a party and there's like rugs down, like we have all those vintage rugs still at the office. It's a great tip for you guys because like literally if you want to just have like an outdoor party, like we're not even having people inside. You can just move like your cute furniture outside Bring out your rugs, you know, they'll dust off, they'll vacuum off if you get a little bit of outside dirt on them and it will sew up the ante of your party. We decided we're renting a taco cart and a caramel apple cart, but but I axed the beverage cart because that just felt excessive. Oh, so we need to buy drinks. So I'll put that on the ship list. So yeah. like, what do we want, like waters? <laughs> it's been a while since we partied. <laughs> oh, they have happy birthday and Oil. That's cute. Oh, sparkling apple it izzy. Those are good. All right, so this balloon garland I'm really excited about. I debated on whether or not to use balloons because obviously it is not the most eco-friendly thing. However, I made sure that we are getting entirely natural rubber latex balloons. And obviously just make sure you do use helium, just don't do any balloon releases because that is when they go and drop down into the water and it's bad. It's been a while since I... I took an... Hey, 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 hey! Okay, so the plan should be to find a couch. We got a lot of those. Some accent chairs to make a conversation area. We got a lot of those. Coffee table. We got a lot of those. <laughs> Rugs. We got a lot of those. I think we'll have no issues. <laughs> this is one of our new pieces. I mean, this is a this is this a is huge a moment. We're, we're doing samples of like hard furniture. So we, we did couches, beds, chairs. Yeah, they're called case case pieces. So like these are all going to be for sale. Hopefully by the like what September. Okay, so these are the Stella pieces. I'm obsessed. So this is the pole, which I'm so into. It's this feather pole in a beautiful gold. You can see it here on the side table. Okay, little sneak peek, woo! Woo, woo! I love the Stella, but I feel like we should go a little more saturated with the color palette that I have in mine and do the test. Let's do this, the dark, the green. 
Oh, cool. We have a lot of antiques that we need to get rid of, like <laughs> this thing. My mom got us that. Ride around in the she just got the was so excited and... that we had a baby coming. She couldn't resist. Um. Whoa. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So the, I think we do the two mustard velvet Effie chairs on either side. Ooh, yes, those are the rugs we want. Okay, These so two rugs and the big rug. Yeah, those two rugs, big rug. No, there's three rugs, three vintage rugs, big rug. But anyways, yeah. We got a lot to get, so we're gonna get, yeah. and I gotta get my tools. Let's get started. Okay, let's get them in the car. <gasps> we got lots to do, baby. and clean for your party. Are you excited about your party? Yeah. So these are all the colors of balloons. Got them through shipped. Thank you, my personal shopper. I want it to be like kind of rainbow, kind of pastel, kind of like a little retro feeling. And so filling up all the balloons is key using the balloon inflator because <laughs> I don't have that much oxygen nor does Joey to blow them all up with your mouth. So the balloon garland looks like complicated but it's actually so easy. And you take two balloons and you tie them together to make a pair. And then you take two pair and you kind of just like wrap them around each other. So these quads are going to be the thing that you're then going to string onto a nice long piece of fishing line just kind of string it through the bunches. I just sort of like wrapped it around the middle part of each quad to make sure they're nice and secure. And I went kind of like rainbow ombre order with the balloons. I also have a few bigger balloons that I'm going to attach using glue dots once the garland is up on the wall. months marking them and the way that we've done that is we've taken a picture of him every month in front of the hand-painted moon that I painted while I was pregnant with him I painted that on his nursery wall and it was just a great way for us to have like a size reference for him as we took the pictures over the months so for the photo backdrop we wanted to have something special but also just something to bring in another like scaled item we were like let's take this moon idea and just make it big all right so i'm gonna 100 percent make this up on the fly so i'm just gonna get a four foot by four foot piece of plywood from the hardware store so i'm just gonna make a really simple stand so that the moon can like be off the ground but also so you don't really see the stand i want it to be like sort of set back behind the moon so i'm just putting these supports in the back of the moon and attaching them to these uh, two by fours that I've sort of built into like a triangle stand. And then it'll have some feet in the back that I'm just gonna put some sandbags on. And number one goal is to just make sure the stand doesn't like fall on a kid. So I'm just making sure that the stand is super like heavy duty. We're gonna paint a moon on this big right circle. Yeah. The moon on the playroom wall I painted when you were in my tummy and now we're painting this one together. Moons are actually really easy to paint guys. I'm telling you this, you're gonna be like, yeah, right but try it, it's just like contouring. Like you, if you know how to like stipple brush like bronzer onto your face, which I arguably know how to do. Um, <laughs> I might've put on too much today. You'll know how to make a move. Whoa, 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 what? Yeah. Doing that. Yeah, we're making a moon. Doing that. Good morning, okay, it is the day of the party. My hair is like two-toned because I had Melinda doing my highlights, but I didn't have time to put my pink on because I just wanted to 
get everything done. We had so much to get done. But oh my gosh, I'm really, really excited for this party. I can't believe we're actually having a party. I can't believe we're going to have both of our families together for the first time, both sets of grandparents. Like, it's all just so special. I woke up just with such a good, excited feeling in my heart. So yeah, let's let's try to pull this together, <laughs> pull the backyard together, and you guys are going to come to the party. So we got this really cool activity that's called Pump and Splash, and it's almost like like DIY water pump play system. I think this is perfect for his age, sort of his interest. gorgeous vintage rugs at our office that I've just had for years now and I haven't had the heart to sell or give up and I'm so glad that I haven't yet because they are perfect layered down um, as the kind of base to our seating area. <laughs> Outdoor rug cuddle. Oh my gosh, I can't believe our baby is two years old. <laughs> This is going to be a fun party. We have so much to do still. <laughs> here, come here. What cuddle with Dada? I can do it. I can do it. Cuddle. Family rug cuddle. <laughs> Loon, you're not allowed to see the rest of this though because we're going to surprise you, okay? So, so one like center. So we are hoping that these, their command strips, hooks, we're hoping that these will work. To hold up the balloon garland. They will. To mount the balloon garland, you just use like little removable wall hooks. They sell outdoor ones for like Christmas lights, which are great because they stick to stucco walls, which is what we have. And then using the glue dots and putting those on as spaces to just kind of attach those bigger balloons, just giving it like that much more oomph. All right, the Moon Phases coffee table debut at Moon's birthday. Hello. Okay, we're gonna go like right here for now. Our fountain is currently not working. We need a new pump for it. So rather than have it running, I just brought the box of faux flowers from our office and we're just filling the fountain with the faux flowers and it looks so cute and festive. Around the corner on our perla, that is the photo station slash like magical moon kid hang zone. So we use the old pillow stuffing that we had at the office. It was a couple left over from the clouds project that we did for the Maze Lee girls. And we brought Moon's play table out from his playroom. So it's just a little cute kid table for him to sit with his friends. <laughs> what? Where did you get these? Family-owned company that does this. Yeah. Oh, do you have to hook it into anything? I oh. know. <laughs> this is our oldest kid. She's she's impressed. So we're using some more of the metallic balloons to stretch across the entrance to the party. Again, using height, bringing your eye up, making it feel like a 360 experience. Official oh. guest. Our first official guest. You may recognize her from the Mr. Heat decorates oh, yeah. intro song. That's me. Mr. Kate. Oh. Mr. Kate royalty right here. <laughs> I wanted to like create a carnival-y theme, so I found this company that has vintage caramel apple stands. I just thought that was really fun. We're also gonna have a like taco grill set up and we're gonna use his radio flyer wagon and we're gonna make that like the drink holder. We'll put a bunch of ice in there with the drinks and it'll be really cute. <laughs> We're talking about your birthday party. Mm -hmm. You gotta cover your ears so you don't know what we're gonna do. Put your fingers in your ears. Okay, all right, let's talk about it quickly. Okay, so we're gonna make so the moon. We're gonna make the moon. We're gonna paint and it's it. Gonna be oh, put them back in. And then, and then we're, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna put it and make we're gonna it get, out of plywood. We're gonna get balloons. And we're gonna put like a stand on, top, on it. And then balloons on the side. And then we're gonna put, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Moon's birthday party. One, two.
Hey, Moon, can you stand up? Yeah. <laughs> Here, wash Mama's hand. Wash Mama's hand. Ready? Go fast. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Cool. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Muna. Happy birthday to you. Not eat it. Don't chew. Don't, don't bite. <laughs> there you go. I think it was because she had an apple in her hand. But <laughs> it was probably good. About to be closing time. We're gonna have my second caramel apple. Coconut. I had six tacos, <laughs> two caramel apples, and I'm soaked. It's a good party. Did you have such a fun birthday party? Yeah. 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 Was that? What was your favorite part? The you, baby, cat, apple, caramel apples. Caramel apples. The balloons and the and the caramel apples. Did you like the water toys? Yeah. The water pumps. Did you have fun with the other kids? Yeah. Thank you for coming to Moon's party. It was such a blast to share this with you guys. Um, let us know in the comments below what your favorite part of the setup was. If you guys do any of these DIYs, make sure you tag us on Instagram because you will be part of our family over there too. Huge right. thanks to SHIP for sponsoring today's episode. Make sure to download the SHIP app or check out SHIP.com. For sure. And stay creative, stay weird, stay you because why not? Bye. Have a kiss. Thank you.